Alrighty, third graders, so picking up where we left off on our molas, our mate bark painting should be done. Um, so it's time to get back to our molas. So last time I talked to you, you were supposed to draw the outline of an animal and divide it into spaces. Um, so that should be as far as you got. So you were supposed to do the basic outline of an animal, divide it into spaces, and then now today what you're going to do is you are going to make a pattern in each of those spaces. Um, I used markers just because I like the bright colors, but you are welcome to do whatever you want. So notice this is a space and inside it, I decided to do like this rainbow tie-dye pattern. Um, over here, this is a space and I did this stripe pattern. This is a space and I did this zigzag pattern. Over here, I've got some amoebas. Each leg of my turtle is a different pattern, so it's a different space. My head is its own space, and then I divided the edge of my turtle into a whole bunch of different spaces as well. So that is what you guys are going to do today. You guys are going to add your color, um, markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want, and in each space you are going to do a different pattern. Once you're done with that, um, I am going to give you guys one more step because I want you guys to be ready for next week. So I want you guys to cut out your animal and glue it onto a black piece of paper. If you don't have a black piece of paper, um, just glue it to a white piece of paper or whatever color paper you have. I always just like how black contrasts really nicely, um, but if you don't have black, use whatever you do have at home and we will work with that. And then come back next week. I'll show you guys how to do the last couple of steps and we will finish these up. So this coloring part is gonna take you a while. I don't wanna leave, I don't want you to leave any white spaces showing. I want you to color everything and I want you to color slowly, carefully. Um, and then when you're done, I did black outlines and I always love how that looks. You guys know that from me by now. Um, so if you have a black marker, do black last. Black always should be last. You should always do your light colors first, black last. Um, I think that's the last of the tips that I'm gonna give you guys. But color slowly, carefully, third grade work. Remember, we are getting to the end of third grade, so I should start to see um, no scribble lines. I should see you guys coloring slowly and carefully. I don't wanna see your marker marks. I don't wanna see your crayon scribbles. I want you guys to be coloring slowly, carefully, color bright. Don't leave white spaces showing, no scribble lines. Um, I know you guys can do it, and I can't wait to see what you guys create.